Oh yeah, when I was gonna do that, the skate video thing, all the video that I had, kinda, I was editing it, it was getting edited and all that fun stuff, and it just, it stopped. It didn't even get to final, I just, it, I went to go delete a couple of clips that I wanted to get out of there to make it shorter, and then it just stopped. The, the software that I was using just didn't respond to anything I was doing after. It did it twice. The first time I did it, deleted them, and then I went to go finalize, and then I just, the, the program stopped working, which confused me. So I exited out of it, and I came back, and it was like, you, your file is still up here, and blah, 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 stuff like that. And I clicked OK. It refreshed where I was. I deleted the same three clips. And then I went to go finalize it again. And it just completely shut down the whole entire... It, like, stopped the whole process. And it just shut it all down. And then... I was like, ah. Uh, I got pissed. So, I went to go reopen the program. Opened it up. And then, it was all gone. It just disappeared. I had everything on... I had everything on this. And then it just disappeared. So I was like, oh, that's gay. So, no video for that. I'm going to have to do something this. I'm going to record some shit this weekend. Possibly going to a, a friend's metal concert. And then I'm going to record some of the... There's like this reunion thing that we're throwing for a, a really cool teacher that we had in high school. He affected many people in our town because he, he's been a teacher. He was a teacher for like almost 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. My parents had him. And then it was, it's pretty crazy. He's been a teacher for a long time. He's done a lot of crazy stuff. He's, uh, he helped put together one of the coolest classes that the Socorro Consolidated Schools could ever have. And then he wanted to retire for a couple of years and come back and like start new. But they didn't let him. I'm, I'm assuming that's what happened. I don't want to say anything that's not true, but that's that's what I was under the intentions of. That's what they. That's what I felt like they wanted us to know. That's, that's, I guess that's how you could put it. Um, but what he it was like an AV sound class. He taught you how to set up a whole entire legit sound system with speakers, with your soundboard, like 36 plus channels. All that, how to set up mics and all that fun stuff. Um, how to set up a legit um, lighting scheme like they use on, on Broadway plays and how they use them in, in videos and stuff like that, like that kind of stuff. Um, taught you how to do stage manager stuff. It, it was really cool. Like it was a lot of fun. And then after it got the recognition that it got throughout the state, we would travel from. Socorro to go do stuff throughout the state because a lot of other schools in New Mexico didn't have this kind of class until they saw the impact that it had on this kids ranging from 12 years old to 18 all working together and putting on something that looks more professional than you would get at like a performing arts as per I'm gonna say not more but as professional as a school that has a performing arts like series or performing arts type of stuff like theater making it look so legit that they were so impressed because we did a dance couple of dances in up in okay I know we did one in Las Lunas we went up to Albuquerque and we did one in Albuquerque High and uh, they were pretty impressed but that some of the kids were kind of mocking us in a way, and then we had one kid who worked at a place up there, he was about our age, and he, he, he had the ability to, to put on one of the coolest light shows with robotic lighting, regular lighting, like PARS, I don't know if you guys know what those are, like PARS, that you, you use in a, in a theater to go see a play, stuff like that. There was one time when I was, I think in middle school, it was like 8th grade, 
it was either eighth or ninth grade. Seeing then the teacher retired when I was right after I was in tenth grade. So junior and junior and senior year didn't have that class, which kind of sucks. So, which kind of sucked, and we didn't have much to do. It was the one thing that was keeping kids busy and keeping, it was, there was different kinds of kids, students from different, I guess you could say cliques, if you want to say that, cliques. Like, there was everyone working together in this whole entire, but it's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. We're going to actually surprise him with this whole reunion and then there's not really that many details and he doesn't know yet I hope he doesn't see this because then I'd be screwed but uh... what else? I lost all the skate video videos that I just said um... I don't think there's anything else to say Except for I was intending on listening to music. And the last time I tried, the last video that I tried recording just was stupid. And it wasn't me really talking. But tomorrow I only have one class, which is really cool. I only have to go to my communications class. Human communications class. I'm looking at the book, that's why I look that way. Um, the lab. That's all it is. And then I get to come home at 11.30... And basically what I'm going to do, I, I mentioned this in the last video, that what I'm basically going to try and do is get as much of my econ homework done that I've missed, email my professor's professor, and tell him, here's the last test, this is why I missed it. He'll be understanding, he already knows why I missed, why I didn't do it is because of the whole family thing, family emergency. Um... using my resources and basically this class is pretty easy he's making it as easy as possible for you to get econ the economy down the aspect down and then also if you want to finish early finish early and just go that's going to be your final grade your grade will never drop below that point so he starts you off at a certain grade and it keeps climbing and it never Say you miss, like, two or three assignments, your grade is still that. It never goes down, which I thought was really cool. So if you, say you you don't do the first two assignments and you do the next nine, and then you do the next two tests, you bomb the first test and you get a 100 on the f second test, and you average out, there's a grader and everything on the website, that you average out, like, a an 89, an 88, so a solid B in the class, and you're fine with that? Go ahead and keep it. Go ahead and keep it. Never come back. So that was really cool. So I'm getting caught up on my theater class. I don't even have theater tomorrow, which kind of sucks. So that's that's the uh, horrible part is I don't have like the funnest class tomorrow. Um, I think I'm gonna try and switch over. No, I shouldn't. I'm not gonna switch over to my webcam. Because seeing high quality and low quality doesn't work together. But I'm holding the camera up so that you can see me or possibly not see me. Who knows? I can't see the other side of the camera. <laughs> the, the screen so I can know what I'm, I'm looking at. But uh, I'm pretty sure my roommate's trying to pass out because it's already midnight and he has to get up at 8. So I'm going to say later.